Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I would like to show you how you can use version control on the Cocos Creator project together with GitHub. So why should you use version control? The first reason is you have an implicit backup of all your files. So you can also restore your project to any state if you break something or files get corrupt. The other thing is you have a good solution to collaborate in a team. Let's say you want to make a game with some people together. Version control is basically your cornerstone. This is how you will share files together. And the last one is it gives you a very solid workflow. So you are kind of forced to submit your changes constantly and to document your changes. And then your team basically exactly knows how the project progresses. It's way better than using a syncing solution like Dropbox, which you cannot use anyway. So first of all, you need, of course, your Cocos Creator project. In this case, I'm using a template project which I got from the library. The second thing is you need GitHub, you need a GitHub account, and GitHub will serve as your cloud storage, as a central source of truth where all your files are located. And then you need also a desktop application to push and pull your files from your computer to GitHub. And for that, we will use Anchor Point. And everything what I'm showing here will work with the free version of these tools. Before we get started, let's take a look at the product structure. This is basically the root folder of my project. It's called Demo UI. And then inside of this, I made a separation between assets. And these are basically all my art files, all my sprites that I will create, for example, in Photoshop. And then here is my Cocos Creator project. And this is basically the whole project. When you create a new project with Cocos, um, it usually creates already a hidden .git folder and a gitignore. A gitignore is a set of rules that exclude certain files from being uploaded to GitHub. And this includes, for example, node package modules, temp files, game builds, anything that you are generating locally mostly and you don't want to share these files with your team. The gitignore is totally fine, everything is correct in this case, but please remove the .git folder because it's not created here at the root of your project where it later should be. It's created here inside of the Cocos project and we want to get rid of that. So make sure you delete that and keep, of course, the git ignore. All right, and this is what we're going to import to Anchor Point. So first of all, we need to have a GitHub account. So go to github.com and then go through the sign up process. So you have to go through this form to create a GitHub account. And once you are done, I will meet you on the other side. So once you have a GitHub account, you should see a dashboard, which is pretty similar to this one. And that's basically all you need to do on GitHub. You don't need to create a repository here. We will do this directly from Anchor Point. So for that, go to anchorpoint.app slash download and download the corresponding version for Mac or for Windows. So once you have Anchor Point installed, you should be here at the Products page. If you're not at the Products page, simply create a new tab, then you will be basically there. The first thing we're going to do is to connect GitHub to Anchor Point. So scroll down for that until you come to a place which is called Integrations. There, click on Connect Application. Then click on GitHub and click on Connect. And now we will start the login process. If we click on that, the web browser will open up and you should see something like this. And then scroll down and authorize Anchor Point. Good. Now Anchor Point will come back and it will ask you which organization you would like to create repositories in because Anchor Point will be able to create repositories directly on GitHub. Um, you can use your personal space for this so that all the repositories will be attached to a username or to a specific organization if you are part of an organization. Now I pick my username, which is totally fine. And at the end, click on test and activate. Good, so GitHub is connected right now. So in the next step, we need to create a project. So we click on create new project. We pick on Git repository. And now we will browse to the root folder of our project, which includes the art assets and the Cocos project. All right, now in the remote settings, we're going to pick new GitHub repository and we don't use a template for gitignore. So when you create a product with Cocos, it will automatically create a .gitignore file, so we don't need to create another one. Let us click on continue, we leave the name as it is, let's click on continue and we don't want to add members at this step, we can do this later. Let me click on create project. All right, once the project is created, you are at the timeline here. So the timeline will show you all the changed files. In the beginning, we have, let's say, a set of changed files of this template project. When I click on that, I can see all of them. And the first thing I would like to do is submit them all to GitHub. And for that, I just enter initial commit and I press sync and anchor point will do the rest and submit all the files to GitHub. Good, the push is successful. That means that all the files are on GitHub. We can double check this by going to the project settings, going to Git, and here we can click on the URL. So if you click on visit, this will bring us basically to GitHub and here all our files are basically there right now. All right, in the next step, I would like to make some changes and push them to GitHub as well, because this is the way how I would normally work all the time. Let me bring over the editor. 
and let's make some random changes. So for example, here I would like to delete certain things. Let me just delete this here, save all of that. And I would like to also make some changes to the code. So let me open up the button UI and let me bring over this. And here, for example, I would like to set the duration to something like 0.8. And let me save this here as well. Okay, what happens in Anchor Point? Anchor Point is tracking all the files. And here I see that I have two changed files. And for example, I made a mistake. So I don't, I would not like to make this home scene changed because you know, sometimes I test things out and I break the project and I don't want to have this changed. So when I do a right click and click on revert, I'm going back to the previous state that worked. And now the funny thing is once this is basically happening, Cocos is automatically updating the scene to the latest state, but I would like to keep the code change here. I can also view the change, what I have done. So here it basically shows me, okay, this is the line you have removed. This is the line you have added. And now I can say, okay, changed duration. And let me sync that again. And this is basically the way how you would like to work. You make changes and you sync them to GitHub. You make changes again and you sync them to GitHub. If you would like to work with another team member, if this person is making changes, they will be also synced automatically once you sync the changes here. They will be downloaded automatically first, so you are at the latest state, and then you are uploading your changes. So that's the basic way how you would work with Cocos Creator on GitHub. So in the next step, I would like to add a team member to the project. So for that, I go to the project settings and click on members, and here I'm assigning a member. If this member is new, you have to enter this person using their email address. So I currently have this member here, and I click assign to project. Now Anchor Point will add it on its own project and now it tells me you have to add a member on GitHub as well and it shows me basically how to do this. When you click on add member on GitHub, it will open up the GitHub UI and here we have to add this member as well. All right, let me add this member to the GitHub repo and that's basically all I need to do. So now we need to switch on the other side of the team member. The first thing you need to do as a team member, you need to accept the invitation to GitHub. So you should get an email where you scroll down and then you have to view the invitation. And this will bring you to the GitHub page where you need to sign in, of course, and then accept the invitation. And if you see basically this, if you see all the files, then everything is fine. You are also part of the GitHub repository now. Then on the anchor point side, you should get a pop-up to accept to work with your team member. And then the next step should be that you should be here in this project. And now we need to download the files from GitHub by clicking on join Git repository. So first of all, Anchor Point asks you, do you have access to GitHub? Can you view the repository online? And yes, we have seen this before. And now we need to check the credentials. So checking credentials means that Anchor Point can connect to GitHub. And if you do this for the first time, you need to log into GitHub again from Anchor Point. But that's a pretty quick thing. You just click on the button. And you get this pop-up where you say sign in with your browser if you do this. And that's basically it. All right, now just pick a folder where you would like to download all the product files. So in this case, I picked a folder on the desktop. Normally don't do this, pick a folder on your hard drive. And if you select download everything, it will start to download all the files, which is okay in this case. Let me click on join. And now Anchor Point will start to download all the product files. And now you should have everything here and you can start working on a project as a team. All right, I hope this video was helpful that you could learn how to use version control on a Cocos Creator project together with GitHub. Thank you for watching.